everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my How to Build series where I show you how to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to build an auto furnace, auto smelter, <laughs> auto industrial furnace, whatever you'd like to call it. I've actually built one of these about two years ago. I believe I was using the plastic texture pack when I showed how to build it. If I can find the video, I'll put it in the description below. But I decided to make a new one because this one is a lot simpler to build from my older one. And also, I added an EXP function, which is experience function. So in case you guys want to collect the experience from the auto smelter, and I also made it so there is no clogging on the inside as well now before we actually get into all this stuff it does work on pocket edition just giving a heads up it works on pocket edition now a lot of people have built these auto smelters in the past but the cool thing about mine like i said has that experience function and it also has that anti-clogging function as well because sometimes stuff will get clogged up in this build and i have ways around that to keep that from happening so it works like any other auto smelter you've ever seen in the past or auto furnace whatever you want to call this thing is you drop in your fuel over here like this so we'll add in let's say coal you can use blocks of coal you can use even lava buckets if you really want to but then you're gonna have to go through all your furnaces to collect the buckets also this thing can only go up to 15 long but you can make a bunch of them or you can make it even smaller if you like so we added our fuel over here and then what we're going to do is add in our items here now i'm going to show you guys that this does not clog at all as you can see i have 32 of cobblestone 32 of sand 32 of iron ore and 32 of gold it's going to take a little while so i'm going to speed up the video here but what we're going to do is just throw in all our items right here one two three and four and then i'm going to go ahead and go inside this chest and then i'm going to speed up the video so you can see none of it gets clogged we'll get 32 of everything back so i'm speeding up the video right mm, come on you know what? i'm just going to do it right I want to see the first item. I just want to see the first item. So we're going to go ahead and do now. All right, guys, and I'm back. And as you can see, we have gotten all 32 of every single stack. There was no clogging at all inside the build whatsoever. Now, the same thing should happen with the experience, but there can be clogging sometimes, maybe one or two items, but I have a way around that as well. So now if you want the experience... So now if you want the experience instead of just laying your items funnel right in because some people do want the experience from their ores and things like that all you have to do is just flip down this lever right here it will lock the bottom hoppers that bring the items to the chest and now all you have to do is just chuck in our items once again so one two three four like that and then what you're going to do is come inside of here and now i now recommend taking the items out of the closest furnace to the door over to the back one that will just make sure that your items get distributed as evenly as possible so when you want to go ahead and grab your items to get your experience so as you see right now i am level eight all you have to do is start from this side of the furnace and then just work your way down as you can see the sand's already going in there so we're going to go ahead and just take out our items boom and we will get experience every time we take out our items from our furnace moving onwards towards the back right hand side like that so we're just gonna go boop 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 All right, guys, and I am back. And as you see, there was no clogging this time. Sometimes it will happen. Like I said, sometimes it depends on how fast you're going through your furnaces to gather some stuff up. But as you see, I'm almost level 11. So I did get a full two levels from all of that stuff. Now, just in case some items do get clogged in there, just in case I have this little lever back here, all you have to do is just flip down this and it will drop any of the excess items that are inside of those. But as you see, I did not get clogged up at all. I have 64 of everything now inside of my inventory all right guys so i am going to be making this thing the full length it can go if you want to make it shorter you can absolutely do that and then if you want more of them you know just build them right next to each other they're not that big all you have to do you know just build it maybe two blocks or one block away from each other and then just keep making them and making them in case you want a bunch of them but uh, you really don't need a bunch of them if you have one this big it, this should be absolutely fine for your base of operations or whatever you have so we're going to start off on a seamless wall so build right into the side of your wall if you'd like to if you have it underground that should be absolutely fine we're going to build two chests in so this should be your wall right here and then what we're going to do is come off the right hand side of our chest and we're going to come out 15 hoppers by going into sneak mode so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and that's the biggest it can possibly be be so if you want to make it shorter you can absolutely go ahead and do that then right on top of all your hoppers go ahead and place furnaces right above all your hoppers 
now what that's going to do is once your items are done smelting if you don't have your experience function on it's just going to drop your items into the hoppers and it's going to bring you all your items over to this chest right down here now if you want to have your experience function on all you have to do is come right next to your hoppers now place in some blocks right next to it this will hide up the hoppers as well and then just place a line of redstone right in front of all your furnaces and then we're going to place a block up right in front of that redstone with a lever off the side of it. It's going to take out a lever and place it right on that block. And now what that will do is once you flip this down, that means it will lock the hoppers underneath it. So now the items won't be able to funnel out of the furnaces. And then you can go ahead and just collect all the items and gain that experience in case you want to. And if you don't, you know, just flip it up and all the items will just funnel right into this chest right down here. Next up, we're going to set it up so our items can actually funnel into all of our furnaces. So we're going to take out our hoppers once again and place hoppers going into the top of all your furnaces. just like that and now what we're going to do is place a block right off the side of this hopper right here and then we're going to place in a redstone comparator going that way like so and then off the backhand side of this comparator we're going to place in hoppers going into each other so place in a hopper going off the side of that comparator as you can see that little notch is going towards the comparator and then just place hoppers going into the back of this one so one two the same thing you know just keep placing in hoppers until you reach the end and then we're going to come out one extra hopper making it a total of 16 more so we're going to come out two more right here. One, two like that. And that's where our items are going to be funneling into. Next up, we're going to swing back over here to this comparator. Now, before we do anything, now normally with a bunch of other smelters, this is where it's going to stop. But what we're going to do is come out one more right here. And this will make it so you don't get clogged. This will make it so it doesn't get clogged up on the inside. We're going to place another comparator right here coming out of that block from this hopper right here. Next up, we're going to place a block up right on top of this comparator by going into sneak and or crouch mode like that. Place a redstone torch off the side of the block. Take out your blocks of choice again. You will be able to see them. And place a line of blocks going all the way down next to that bottom row of hoppers. So you reach the end like that. And then we're going to place redstone along all the blocks next to the hoppers. Like so. And then right here, we're going to place a repeater going that way on one tick delay. Next up, we're going to place a block right in front of this comparator right here. Like that. And place a piece of redstone right on top of it. Now, we only have one more thing we have to do. And then we can test out our item funneling to make sure that is all working. So we're going to swing back over here to the front hand side and now this will help the machine not to clog so we're going to place another redstone comparator going into this hopper right here and make sure you set it to subtraction mode so that little front part should be on make sure that little front part is on on your comparator then we're going to come out one more block from it place a furnace right here and then go inside your furnace and place one stackable item in there so i'm just going to place a lever a stackable item is something that could stack to 64 or 16 just make sure that it can stack and now what we're going to do is go ahead and test out to make sure our items are working. So I already have a stack of cobblestone on me. So we're going to place all of our cobblestone right in here. And what should happen is all 64 of it, all 64 of your cobblestone should end up inside your furnaces. So as you can see, it already let down one set of cobblestone. So boop, as you see, there's one. So there should be a total of four in there. And then the last four should have five in there. So there's two. So every single one should have two in it right now. See? And then every single one will have three in it. So soon there'll be three. Boop, three. And then there will be four. So we're going to wait till we see the last four one. So let's see. Come on, come on, come on, four. So that means this one over here should have four. And now the last four should have five because we put in a total of 64. Because, you know, 15, 15, 15, 15 is 60. And then plus the last four is going to be 64. So there should be five in the last four. So we see five, 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 and five. So you see there is no clogging whatsoever. So our item funneling is working absolutely great. So now it's time to add in our fuel. So to add in our fuel, we're going to come over here to our furnaces once again and place in hoppers going into the back sides of all your furnaces so place in so go ahead and just place hoppers going into the backhand side of your furnaces like this on every single one of them till you reach the end perfect and now we're going to come back over here place up a block right here take out your hoppers once again and place hoppers going into the backhand sides of every single one starting off this block so one here and then just go along the whole entire thing until you reach the end so i'm gonna come down here and make it a little easier on myself so just go off the backhand sides of every single one of them like that make sure they're going into each other or it will not work and then we're going to come out one extra one right here boop and that's for our fuel so you see all the notches right here are going into each other and all the ones down here are going into the back of those furnaces if they're not doing that then it's going to get clogged up somewhere next up what we're going to do is break this block right here and then place up a block next to that hopper right there place a comparator coming out of this one right here place up a block in front of it. we're going to do the same thing like we did up there place a block in front of it place a furnace here i mean <laughs> place a furnace place a redstone torch here and then just place a line of blocks going down next to all of your hoppers right down here there we go and then place redstone next to all of your hoppers and then we're going to place in a repeater going this way and that's the fuel completely done and guys that's the entire build 
you are completely done. So now if we take out our coal, or you know, you can use blocks of coal if you want to. You can use anything you really want to. I recommend just using coal or blocks of coal if you'd like to. So you know, I'm gonna go ahead and use blocks of coal this time. We're gonna place in our blocks of coal right here, boop, like that. And now what it'll do is it'll funnel in until it reaches all of them, and you'll see all of our furnaces ignite at once. So you'll see them all come on at once. So come on, come on, come on, come on, and boop, there we go. <laughs> all our furnaces came on at once, and now we can clean up this little area right here a little bit more hide up all of this and now for any extra items if you feel like there's an item stuck in it all you have to do is just add a lever right off of this block right here and that will stop any clogging from happening all you have to do is flip down that lever it will drop any excess items into your furnace and then just flip up the lever and everything should be great but as you can see all our items are being smelted right now and they will all end up inside of this chest right here so we should get a total of 64 here now for the chest right here all we have to do is take out stairs you need to put stairs above it or else it won't you can't go inside the chest <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take out uh stairs of our choice so i'm gonna be using quartz stairs i'm gonna place a quartz stair upside down backwards you know i might need to break this hopper for a second yep so i'm gonna place in my quartz stair right here upside down right above my chest so uh, come on come on boop, there we go and i'm gonna place one more right here as well so boop, there we go so now we can go inside of our chest right here without any problems and then all we have to do is just replace down our hopper right off of this one like that and now just clean up the area so we're gonna clean it up like this boop, boop, boop. there we go make it look nice so you can't see anything there we go and if you really don't like seeing that uh furnace and compare it right there all you have to do is just take out a painting and put a painting in front of it if you really want to to me honestly it doesn't bother me too much because it stops the clogging from happening but if you want to you know you just place a painting like that let's try to get a i want a, a one by two <laughs> come on one by two one by two there we go so now we can hide up the furnace and the comparator right there but this is where our items go this is where our fuel goes and then see all 64 are right down here so now if we want to fill it up let's go ahead and put in some more should i put uh, you know what? i'm just gonna put a bunch of coal in there so i'm just gonna fill this up with coal there we go oh that is another thing i completely forgot so you see the coal is not going in here that's because of this right here if you want to stop that from happening but you want a block here all you have to do is put a block to its side but i'm gonna go ahead and quickly just put a staircase here so i'm just gonna take out my stair of choice and i'm gonna place a stair here instead like that that will stop it from getting stuck there there we go and if you do if you need a block here if you absolutely need a block there all you have to do is just put a block to the side and then you know just put a button or a lever to the side so you know a button or a lever to the side like that see and i'll stop it from happening so that's basically everything guys you are completely done so now if we take out some items we can go ahead and smelt some more items in here so let's go ahead and just take out a uh so i just went out and took out 16 of each item so we're gonna go ahead and just throw all 16 in here like that and like i said if you want the experience all you have to do is just flip this down and then flip it up but i don't really want to take the experience out right now but we're gonna make sure that all 16 does get smelted so we know everything is absolutely working so i'm gonna come in here and we're just gonna speed up the video until we get all 16 items and there you guys have it all 16 items were completely smelted down now like i said if you want experience just flip down that lever place in your items so now the items won't be able to funnel through and like i said if you feel like any clogging happened if you feel like any clogging happened inside the build all you need to do is just flip down this lever it'll drop any items down but that shouldn't happen at all with this one i mean i haven't had any problems with it but i know sometimes redstone could be a little bit wompy on console edition so you know just a heads up you know if you need to if you feel like something's in there just flip down this lever like leave it there for two seconds flip it back up and all the items should go but as you can see none of these items have funneled through because now we're going to grab the experience you know just go through all your furnaces grab up all that sweet experience for the items that you want and but i'm not gonna do this <laughs> i'm just gonna go like that because i don't feel like going through all of the furnaces but there you guys have that is how you build an auto furnace system auto smelter auto industrial furnace system <laughs> if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace